guys, what's going on? You already know who I am, Worst Effing Gamer, it's your boy Andy, back again with another Soul Hunters Awakening video. Today, we are awakening Beltor, the human, non-human machine, non-machine, what is this guy? I have no idea, but does he look awesome? Yes! Oh, he's the bone collector, that's right, he's the bone collector, guys, he's out to get some bones. Uh, I already have his awakening piece right there, the infernal flame, so let's go right ahead and see what part number two will entail. All right, part number two, bloody arena. <laughs> the bloody arena for this guy. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit something different for this guy that I normally do, guys, for one for one purpose, I'll show you. All right, so his awakened ability, if you read it again, it says Beltor's free throw and penalty kick abilities will now deal AOE damage instead of single target damage. So the only thing his awakening is gonna do is make is second and third ability AOE instead of single target. So what I want to do now, guys, is I want to take this guy in a battle before I awaken him. I want to see the damage he does before and then after and see if it's a big difference, all right? So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do chapter 11 right now, the last stage in chapter 11. Let's see. It's only going to be straight up our boy Beltor, nobody else. I just want to see what he can do. If he dies, then he dies. But... I just want to see the damage output. This is all single target. Oh, uh, wow. 17,000 right there. That's insane. Here's another big one. Boom. 19,000. 10,000. Yo, Beltor. We are not worthy. You are insane. Holy hell. That is a lot of damage. All right. So more, more targets here. This should do a lot more damage. Boom. Single target. I'm not even going to use his ultimate. Yeah. 19. Yeah. That already seems like it's uh, AOE damage, but... That might be his fourth ability, to be honest. All right, here we go again. Boom! Single target. Single target. And then the penalty kick, this one we already know is a single target. Oh, missed. Okay. I mean, it seems like he's doing a whole lot of damage already. My God. That is a ton of damage. All right, here we go. So, yep. Dodge. Damn it, Hanzo. Oh, he might even die. Oh! Oh, it, oh my god, AoE damage. The fourth ability is already AoE, so we don't even need to worry about that. But now all of his abilities seem like they're going to be AoE damage, which is pretty sick. But he's going to die here. Oh, Hanzo, you son of a bitch. I can't hit Hanzo in the front there. His dodge is too incredible for Beltor. All right. Remember this, guys. 135. 135,000. Now, let's go right ahead. And I'm going to continue on. I just got to do one more battle. Not here. Right here, Bloody Arena. So let's go ahead, do a battle in Bloody Arena. What do I want to do here? Let's go with... Oh, the Prince. Yeah, why not? Let's use the Prince. Let's go with Gorham. I like Gorham. Oh, the new guy. Um, Who else? Who else? Hmm. Oh, let's go with Kong. Get some shadows in there. I'm worried about Valko. I don't want him to die. But maybe the shadows from Kong will help him out a little bit here. Boom, there we go. Oh, somebody's dead already. And... Uh oh nope, nope, we're still looking good, we're still looking good. Oh, ultimate from Conrad there. Oh, no! Ooh, I do not want Velko to die. Don't die, Velko. I'm going to use his ultimate here, I'm afraid he's going to die. There's that crazy ultimate, guys. Kipuya, Kapuya. Good amount of damage there. Let's see now. Part number two. Um, You know what? Let's go with ultimate from Beltor. Let's get his ultimate up there. And, um, hmm, I wish I had my, if I had a Valko's ultimate, it would have been awesome. Oh, Prince. Oh, wrong way. And, uh, Gorum, damage. Oh my god. One hit KO from Havoc there. Havoc's ultimate destruction upon Beltor. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter. You're, the hero you're trying to awaken does not have to be alive, guys. I hope you know that he can die. Okay, there we go. Ultimate Valko. Go Kong and Prince. Let's go together here. And who's left? Oh my god, Ezio, you son of a gun. Alright, let's hope this doesn't take too long to get this Ezio out of here. Come on, Ezio. Yes, he's dead. Thank god. Alright, guys. That is number 10 battle. Which means part number 2 is also complete. So I didn't waste your time too much with part number one. Part number one, you already know, you got to collect the items. That took a while. So I'm completing part number two here. 
Let's see what we gotta do. Part number three must be the one to kill Seraphin. Oh my god, I hate these ones. Well, this kind of blows, guys. Alright, All right, let's see what team I'm gonna use here. These are a little bit trickier because uh, you have to be careful. You really don't want nobody else to kill her. It's gotta be this guy. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Enrique, he doesn't do jack shit. Jasmine, her ultimate does damage, but that's about it. Hmm. You know what? Lumos does a little bit of damage, but I I can use his ability. Hopefully, it latches onto our boy Belt over there. I need a tank that is not going to do much damage. Just a little bit of damage. Who will it be? Who? Too far down. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Tanky, tanky. You know what? Elric. Elric, you never let me down, brother. Let's go. Oh, my God. Uh, this is going to be like always. Prepare to be crushed. Oh, I love that. But that should be... That should be Crusher's slogan. Prepare to be crushed. That would be awesome. It doesn't... I guess he could go with Belter too. Because he crushes the enemy too. But that is definitely a nice slogan for Crusher. Alright, so um, here's a problem here. We got a hero that's immune to physical. Which sucks. Oh, man. Because all Beltor's abilities are all physical, guys. He will not do any magic damage. I think my only magic dealer here is literally Jasmine. Or right, maybe this will help. Because they're so weak. That definitely helps. And uh, Lumos does some magic damage. Come on, man. I wish I brought a magic he uh, hitter here. Alright. He's literally like one hit away. Come on, who's going to do it to him? Give it to him. Give it to him, Long. Okay, right, there we go. The good thing is, I think the next guy here is uh, immune to magic, which works out pretty well. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Keep it up. Yes, Beltor, the cheerleader. Um, go. Big shot to the head. Now you are dead. And uh, Elric, go with the ultimate. Kapuya. And another kill. The good thing is, is he does a lot of damage, guys. There's a good chance... That he will be the one to take out Seraphine here. Because I'm going to use his ultimate here. That's my plan. I'm going to go with ultimate. I will bring them with my bare hands. Did he say bring them or break them? Damn it, I didn't even read that. Alright, let's just go Lumos. Put everybody to sleep. And I'm going to use Jasmine here just to... Oh my god. Ooh, I was hoping there was not a lot of damage here. Come on! Oh yes, he did it! Just one... Soccer kick. This guy is the best soccer player of all time. Pele, get the hell out of the way. Here comes Beltor. Free throw kicking it. Long ball style. All right, guys. Enough of the jibber jabber. Let's go ahead. Awaken this guy right now and see what he will transform into. Come on, Beltor. Whoa, look at that. That is sick. Uh, I'm actually liking that a lot. That reminds me of the helmets they wore in the gladiator days in Spartan times. The Spartan. And he's got a crotch protector. <laughs> Look at his crotch jiggling up and down. Side to side. For a big fat guy, this guy is awfully playful. He loves to play around. But, oh my god. Why does he not look purple in his when his avatar is out? That would have been awesome if his avatar was purple. I would have loved that a lot. But the card is also really, really sick. Yo, Beltor, you are the man. Crush them bones. All right, so Beltor's free throw. Yeah, we already know that. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's do this. I'm going to... Yeah. All right, upgrade that as much as I could. So, deals a base of 1,464 at level 21. This could go up to level 40, so that's going to be a, a lot more. Um, Alright, so first things first. Let's go, before I do anything else, we're going to go right away back to that same challenge. So, here I go. Back to the same challenge we were doing before at chapter 11. Come on, 11. And let's do this, guys. Just Beltor once again. No, 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 no. Ooh, I'm loving that right there. All right, let's go try this out. I remember it was 135,000. So let's see what happens here. Okay, first thing. Oh, AoE damage together. And the kick. 
Oh, there's only a single target, so you can't even tell. But, yo, that is so much freaking damage. Are you kidding me right now? This guy might be insanely good in the raids, guys. I am not joking. Yo Come on, dude. Are you serious right now? If these hits are that powerful and they hit everybody that hard, uh, could this guy be the new raid king? Uh, when you're facing a raid team of like five heroes, this might be really, really cool. I might have to work on this guy right away. All right, let's see what happens here. Because last time he died. Uh, he might still die, but boom, there you go, he damaged. He hits. Okay, so he hits frontliners and backliners. Boom, three heroes there. Yo, he destroyed him like it was nothing. And last time he died. Oh my God, Beltor. All right, so the damage output is still the same. But that's because I think he just killed them right away with one hit. So a little more damage. But wow, that is actually really, really impressive. Holy moly. All right, next thing's next, guys. Enchantment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enchant his awakening item here. Uh, let's see how long it's going to take me depending on how many items I have. All right, so... Fast forward abilities, go! All right, guys. Let's do this really quickly. Let's do eight of these here. I think I have a lot of blue items because this would take taking forever, but okay, that should be enough for that. Ooh, 40 of these. This will help big time. So we're going to 30 of these. I got 70 of these. That is a whole lot. I can give them about 60. Yep, 60 should be fine. 37 of these. Let's do a little bit of these here. And some of these. Oh my god, that was so fast. It didn't even need a fast forward motion. But, anyways, here we are. Boost. Another crazy boost to his stats, guys. Alright, so what is next? Next is the Forge. That's right, you guessed correctly, you son of a bitch. You guessed so good. Here we go, Beltor. The Forge. Ooh, I got a free Forge. Hang on, guys. Before I always do a free Forge, don't, I ever, don't ever do this. Waste your free Forge, which you can use for your most expensive Forge on a free one like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the guy that I'm working on right now, which is right now is Toot. So I'm going to use my free Forge on Toot. Boom, my ultimate Forge. And I'm going to go back, Beltor. Auto Forge 50 times and then click off every single one of these and let's go. All right, that's how you maximize your Forge, guys. Hmm. Come on, reach 30. Physical attack 30 would be awesome. Even though I don't think it's possible. 23. It's possible, I think. I think it's happened a couple of times, actually. 26. 28. Come on, one more. If I can get one more positive... Increase that would be awesome. He's at 28, I think. Damn it. No. All right, 28, 28, 17. That is not bad at all, actually. That's very, very nice. And then he gets he's gonna get a crazy boost of physical attack 30, physical pierce rating, and max health at the end there. Very nice, Beltor. What is next? Hey, you know what? I'm going for an arena attack right now with Beltor in there. I don't give a damn. I know he's not ready. He doesn't even have any items at orange plus one. But who cares? Let's just see what he can do here. Boom! Four heroes he hit there. The more clumped up they are, the more damage Beltor is going to do, guys. So that's kind of a strategy. If you can find heroes that will push your enemy, push, push them to the back. This guy will go in there and freaking die. Oh my god, he's already dead. Well, that's what happens when you don't have any items on your hero. No equipment at all. Can this team pull it out without Beltor to support them in the back there at all? I don't even think so, to be honest. Maybe they can, though. Go, Melroth! I do have the Melroth and Gorum Brother combo there. And we still got Krona, uh, who's alive. All he has is Tauros, who's dead. And they're all dead. Yes, we did it anyways. Yeah, right in the kisser! No, wait, they're not even dead yet. What am I talking about? Almost. Come on, Fallen. Eat shit. Die already. Oh my god, he doesn't want to die. There he is. Finally dead. Alright, cool. So we won that one. And as you can see, <laughs> he's not ready for battle just yet, guys. Not ready at all. <laughs> but either way, guys, I think that Beltor's Awakening is actually pretty cool. I do love, theoretically, what it's going to do. Hit everybody for more than just a single target damage. Just by paper, on paper, it sounds like it's going to be really good in the raids. Maybe Hall of Legends, but more testing needs to be done. And I got to get this guy to Orange Plus 2, all right? That is kind of the next step I got to do before I can actually give you guys a great, great example of how good he can be. But this is his new look. I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm going to just click on him a little bit here. Do some stuff. Go dance, monkey. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> And then that'll be it, guys. I'm going to end this episode off here. I will see you guys next time on another Soul Hunters Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!